Hey, my name's Andrew, and these are five reasons why the Vibram V-Track is the best barefoot shoe of all time. When I bought my V-Tracks back in 2017, the first thing I noticed about them was how roomy they were compared to my other cushion shoes, and I was worried they might be a little too wide. But when I laced them up, the material wrapped around my foot like a glove, and the separate toes kept me from sliding around. So it was like, I think this is the only shoe in the world that could accommodate Bigfoot while still feeling snug to a skinny little runner like me. Initially, I thought the whole five fingers concept was just a marketing ploy, but once I tried other barefoot brands like Zero, Vivo, and Wildling, I realized that the separate toes add a whole other layer of flexibility because where most shoes only flex front to back, the V-Trek also curls side to side, which gives you more agility for a smoother landing and feels so natural, it's hard to remember you're not actually barefoot. While there are lots of great barefoot road shoes and trail shoes and cross-training shoes, what sets the V-Track apart is that it's good at all three. Because it's light yet durable, and while the lugs are flat enough to handle asphalt, they're also cut to open up when your foot bends and angled front to back, so whether you're running down a muddy hill or hiking up a rocky slope, you've always got the grip you need. Also, because they look so different, people are always stopping to ask about my V-Rums and love or hate them, it's a hell of a lot more fun than talking about the weather. If I've learned anything from wearing shoes for 30 years, it's that natural fabrics beat synthetic every time when it comes to breathability. Which is why I love the V-Trex 50% wool upper. It keeps you cool in summer, warm in winter, and dry all year long given how well it wicks moisture, especially when you pair it with some wool socks like in Gingies. Plus, wool is also antimicrobial, which makes my V-Trex smell less like a radioactive wasteland and more like a quaint Adirondack cabin. The V-Trex were my first pair of barefoot shoes, so I was pretty skeptical about the durability of something that's only 4 millimeters thick. But a week went by, then a month, then a year, then two years, until one day I got back from a run and realized, damn, I've been running in these shoes for five years. At $120, that works out to about $2 a month, which is a pretty good deal given that every cushion shoe I've ever owned has been toast in less than a year. So I guess it's true what they say about Vibram rubber being the best in the world because I've tried shoes that are thin and soft and thick and durable, but the V-Trek is the only shoe I know of that has the best of both worlds. Overall, the V-Trek is comfortable and flexible and versatile and breathable and durable enough to be the go-to shoe for just about everyone from beginners to ultramarathon runners, but it does have a few drawbacks. Firstly, it's not waterproof and slush can go straight up your toes, so it's not the best option for cold, wet days. Second, with a pair of toe socks, they can take a couple minutes to get fitted, so they're not exactly a slip-on and go shoe. And third, Vibrams just look different than everything else, so if you're the type of person who wants to fit in, these are probably not the shoe for you. But otherwise, if you want to check out the V-Track, I've put links down in the description, so yeah. Thanks for watching, catch you next time, peace!